So for primer, we're starting with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This feels really nice on the skin, glides over easily, fills in your pores, and creates a perfect base for foundation. Today we're using L'Oreal True Match in Sand Beige W5, which is perfect for my tan skin at the moment. This is a pretty hydrating foundation, which I was surprised by. I didn't realize that it was not as drying as I thought it was. It lasts all day. I don't really have too many problems with it fading, so I think it's becoming one of my new favorite foundations. To conceal the under eye, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20 Sand. Perfect again for my tanned skin. I would usually go for light, but this is perfect for where I'm at right now. I wouldn't want my concealer to be too light. To brighten a little bit, I'm using this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This one is in light, so just adding a little bit of that just to kind of brighten the center of the face and highlight a tiny bit under the eyes, but nothing too crazy. To start blending that in, I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. Just gonna buff that in lightly and then I will move on to fingers just so that it blends a little bit more nicely. The warmth for my fingers helps to really blend the product well and make sure there are no harsh lines. Finishing touch, just to use that foundation brush and make sure everything is blended well. This RCMA No Color Powder is absolutely perfect for underneath the eyes, so I just really made sure to load that on so that that concealer does not move at all. I'm making sure to use this on all the spots I concealed, not so much in other places of my face, but this powder is amazing. It helps to make sure nothing budges but doesn't look like you're wearing powder, if that makes sense. For a little bit of a highlight, I'm adding this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in 100 Bare Light. This adds a really natural shine to the skin. So I'm gonna use this actually as a base because I'm gonna use this Physician's Formula Highlighter over top. So just gonna grab a brush, put that on top of where I applied that cream. It's just gonna intensify that highlight. To liven up the skin, add a little bit of color. I'm using this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It does have kind of an intense scent, so if you're not into that, I would say skip it, but I like it. it smells like vacation. So adding that on the cheeks and then on the temples as well, and then taking another brush to kind of contour the cheek. To make sure my eyeshadow doesn't go anywhere, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime. This is my ride or die. You guys know I love this stuff. And next, we're going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette in Sage. This palette is amazing. I do have to tell you it is a little bit powdery. So when you dip your brush in, there is a lot of product that comes up and it can kind of like puff off your skin if you know what I'm saying. I think you might see that a couple times in the video. But first I'm just using that creamy white shade kind of all over the lid as well as on the brow bone and the inner corner and then taking that taupey brown shade into the crease to create some definition. This shade is a little bit lighter. It kind of reminds me of Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, but I'm taking that over the crease just to kind of soften it and add some extra dimension. This is the fun part. We're adding the green to the outside of the eye. This is kind of the outer V. So because my eyes are so fitted, I like to apply the product and then kind of open my eye and see where that product actually is on my eye when it's open. After I've placed the product where I want it, I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush and make sure it's nice and blended and then I'm just building the color up to the opacity that I want. can't forget the under eye so I'm placing that green underneath there just with this little short shader brush and then taking that taupey color and blending the green out. I decided I need a little more green in the crease so I'm just placing a little bit of that there first and then making sure to blend it out well. We're skipping liner today and going straight in with mascara. And for that, I'm using the CoverGirl Supersizer Fibers Mascara. It makes your eyelashes look nice and fat and thick. So I'm making sure to use multiple coats on both my top and bottom lashes. For brows, I'm moving on to Anastasia Dip Brow. This is in shade medium brown, so using a spoolie to brush out my brows, and then using the other side to fill in the brow. So it creates a little bit of structure, creating a little bit of structure, and then kind of filling in the sparse areas, making sure to constantly be uh, brushing out my brows so that they don't look too blocky or thick. But I think this product has really stepped up my brow game. I think I'm, I'm gonna make a video for you guys soon kind of talking about my brow journey because it certainly has been one. For lips, I'm going in with this NYX Lip Liner. We're first gonna line the lips and then fill them in slightly just to create a nice base for our liquid lipstick that's going to go over top. And for that I'm using another Kat Von D product and this is Lolita. It looks different on just about everybody but it's an absolutely beautiful shade. It's pretty rosy on me 
and then I'm going to finish up with just a little bit of setting spray by L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Spray. So this is going to make sure nothing budges. So this is the finished look. It's a little smoky, but it's a very kind of neutral look, and I think that the two products pair really well together. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Alright guys, if you like that video, please head over to my last video, click that subscribe button, and check out my socials.